let's take a quick look here at what comes in a box and I'll give you some first impressions of this device. Now, this comes in orange and a variety of colors, including that cool green and yellow. Uh, the device itself features a 1.2 gigahertz dual core CPU, which is a nice little bump actually from the 620s, which only has a one gigahertz processor. Now, technically I don't have a problem running one gigahertz devices. They're, once you use them in isolation of themselves, they're actually totally fine. Having said that, 1.5 gigahertz dual cores, like in the 820, 920, 1020 series, uh, definitely feels faster. So I'm kind of excited about saying what a 1.2 gigahertz will feel like because I think it's going to give just enough extra horsepower that you know people are going to feel really good using it. You can just see how massive that is by the how small that camera is. Um, here's a quick comparison to say the uh, 925, which is a pretty flagship device, obviously from Nokia. Uh, very different cameras on board. Uh, as far as size, though. Pretty similar in a lot of ways. 925 is actually maybe a hair thinner. It's hard to tell. I got this case on board, obviously. But uh, overall, you can see the, the size of the two devices. Uh, pretty, pretty close. Except for this is a 4.5 inch. And this is a 4.7 inch. Uh, as you can see, we have booted up. Now, the screen doesn't look like it has clear black, which is a bit of a disappointment. It is a 4.7 inch, I believe, 480 by 800 resolution. And the color looks pretty good on it. It is a little... You know, this seems closer to me to the 520 series as far as display quality. You're also really blowing up these tiles to a large size without getting the HD quality, which probably won't illuminate too much, but it'll give you just enough. Now, the 520 series, of course, doesn't have a flash, so you get that here. Uh, you do have a front-facing camera. Once again, that's a signature of the 620 series and higher. You do get that on board. Going to the bottom, micro USB. So for those of you who like bottom charging, I'm actually a fan of that. Uh, turn to the left-hand side. Of course, very clean as usual. And go over to this side, and you have your typical volume rocker and power button and, of course, your camera button. Now, it's kind of hard to actually see because those buttons are the same color as the device itself, which is sort of... Uh, an interesting color choice. Usually you would expect them to be black, but obviously they chose something a little bit different here. Uh, let's go into the software section, and you can see alarms, Angry Birds Roost, uh, data sense is on board, which is pretty great. I mean, everybody loves data sense. Uh, you can also see the here drive, here maps. Now it's here drive, so it's not a global license, it's just going to be your local. Um, that's one way actually Nokia saves money on these devices. Uh, Nokia Smart Cam, OneNote, People Hub. Transfer my data in World of Red Bull. So nothing too crazy on board here. Uh, this is, I'm going to take a wild guess and just say it's running GDR2. I couldn't imagine it running anything less. And correct, it is running 10.3.2.8, which is very much the latest version of the OS for uh, Windows Phone in general. So you are getting that. Uh, the contrast on this is pretty good. I don't think it's going to be totally killer out in the sun, although it probably does have you know, the ramp, uh, ramping up ability of luminosity. So, yeah, sunlight readability, Lumia color profile. So you get all those things on board, touch sensitivity, which is really good. And you probably also get the audio boost here. So you do get the equalizer and enhancement, something the 520 series omits, once again, to cut back on costs. All right, let's put this guy aside here. Overall, feels great in the, the hand. You can see it is thin enough. Um, very rounded corners, and so it just feels really good. Not too slippery. This orange is a kind of a matte orange, so you're not getting the gloss. And that display is obviously pretty massive. In the box, probably nothing too huge here. You get your little instruction booklet, as usual. Got some information, and let's see what we get. We also get your micro USB charger. A little pair of headphones because this is an international device so they do actually include the headphones but other than that nothing too crazy let's bring back the phone here I'll do a quick comparison 620 versus 625 but overall it seems to be you know a pretty decent connection I'll also throw in a T-Mobile card and see how that works too if you're